Here we go again. Look on the screen. Why is he on the screen? Uh, here's what I consider a very deadly dust bucket. When people show you who they are, start to threaten you. Sadly, might want to believe them. So let's check this out. Here he is. Here's the lady. And sadly, the child saw it all. And I believe the lady's ex-husband. So this right here, this is her baby daddy. And it makes me wonder if he was mad that maybe her ex-husband was there. But nevertheless, the ex-husband was there. Um, the daughter, not from the marriage, but the daughter of this specimen classified as a human being. I really can't confirm that because when you do things like this, you have just pretty much taken yourself out of humanity. My opinion. So he's the... Um, her ex-husband was here, the child, his daughter, this one right here, her baby daddy, his daughter saw it all. So listen to what happened, people. Six tragedy in Pompano Beach. A mother is hit and killed by a pickup truck. Her 10-year-old daughter saw it all happen while neighbors captured the horrific scene on video. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. I'm Alina Machado. And I'm Lorena Inglang. Tonight, we're learning more about the man deputies say was behind the wheel. NBC6's Kim Wynn is live in Pompano Beach. And Kim, you spoke with a witness about this horrific incident. Yes, and we actually also spoke with the woman's daughter who was there and saw everything. She tells us what she saw. The woman's ex-husband was also there last night and was hurt, but he survived. Let's go ahead and get to the... This 32-year-old Edwin Amaya BSO says that he's been charged with premeditated murder for allegedly killing the mother of his child, 29-year-old Brenda Hernandez. Investigators say he also injured Omar Enrique, who was Hernandez's ex-husband. BSO says this all started by an argument that broke out just after 9.30 last night in the parking lot of the mother's apartment complex on Southwest 8th Street in Pompano Beach. Cell phone video shows some type of back and forth in the street. Then the suspect's white pickup truck drives straight into Hernandez, who then falls to the ground. We paused the video before the moment of impact. We spoke to the woman's daughter and her ex-husband, who was there to pick up his kids and was also injured. I couldn't cry, couldn't talk. I went downstairs. And that's the child speaking, of course. Like running, running. After we argued. And that's the husband, okay, that's speaking. He went to his trunk and he told us, I'm going to kill you all. We took action and we went to stop him with some friends and he took the truck, backed up, then drove forward. He hit a different car, then he hit us. Now, investigators also say that the suspect ran off after this crash, but he was shortly apprehended afterwards and arrested. For now, we are reporting live in Pompano. Okay, so he said, I'm going to kill you all. And they went to try to stop him. I think at that time, remove yourself from dust. When he gets like that, no, 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 no. That is the time to, to go inside and call 911. Dusty's been drama, heartache, and trauma. Why you just can't walk away? Can't agree or disagree? Oh, no, I'm going to kill everybody. They have an argument. So emotional, so irrational. He has killed, allegedly, the mother of his child. So now the mother's deceased, the child saw it, and he'll be going to jail. It makes me wonder. The mother's ex husband, that's the mother's ex husband, that's not his child. So I don't know. The man may, let me know what you all think. He may have a big heart and take her in, or she may have to go with the state or some other relative. Just like that, he is upended, killed the mother, and just ruined the child's life. And to see it. And the kid got to live the fact that, hey, your mom is not here because what? Your, your father killed her. Th that's the painful reality. These males, they are too high strong. You, you really can't communicate with them. 
it's best to keep it moving. Well, let's try to, well, I'm, don't even do it. Highly irrational. Not worth dealing with, in my opinion. Dusty spring drama, heartache, and trauma. Now somebody got to pack up, I guess, the, the apartment was her home. Pack that up. Where will the kid go? And if you think about it, again, the father, the ex-husband, is not his responsibility to take care of this child. That hit my mind. So what's he going to do? That's going to be interesting. But let's be realistic. It's not his responsibility to take care of this kid. All it beware the contaminator. All it takes, one angry bird can't reason with. People are at odds. It happens every day. We all think a lot of different opinions. We don't. People in my comment sections, you know, say, "Hey, Sylvia, that one just don't really agree with it." Oh, okay, and they get, get their point of view. Wow, you know, it's like the uh, video I did about Lusty Dan, uh, the paramedic man that was assaulting those women and recording it. So someone put a comment that said, "Hey, I think what he meant." Like when he moved the camera, like he was trying to, so I was thinking that maybe the guy was trying to film himself doing it to say, hey, look what I'm doing and maybe get a kick out of it and upload it online. Someone said, I think what they meant is that he moved the camera at a sort of angle. And so in the process, which, which I had not thought about, in the process of him trying to move the camera at a certain angle, like maybe by accident, they, they saw his face, which I'm glad they did. So the person was like, you know, I think that's what they meant. That hadn't occurred to me. And that's probably it. He probably moved the camera, or let me put it this way, and by accident it caught his face, which I'm glad it did because that's how they got a hold of him. That's Yeah, could have been a mistake. I don't go, well, so what? No, I mean, it's, what, what the heck? Who does that? Dust buckets, dustinas, people that are high, high strong, highly irrational. What can make you so angry to want to run over the, the your child's mother with your truck? What could make you that angry? Speaks volumes. Run over the mother of your child with that truck and the child saw it all. Kid probably get PTSD, nightmares, you name it. When you find them like this, communicate as this as possible. Sometimes just walk away. They have their opinion, you have yours. Interesting. That's what I would do. And just walk away. You gotta understand, these are my opinion, low vibrational people. So, so much is going wrong in their life. They're not very bright. It's what I see. They're self centered, in my opinion. It's not with argument. What did my friend say? It's so funny. Her granddad told her, do not, never argue with a fool. What? You heard me. Don't argue with a fool. Why? He says, they have more experience than you. Back and forth, back and forth all day. It's not worth it. Anyway, let me know what you all think. That, so that tells me, I just don't see a person getting angry and losing it like this. I just see that as maybe the person, uh, they're, they're filled with some kind of hate. The disdain for you as an individual is so strong, this is what they'll do. The disdain, it's, it's that strong. That hurt, that anger, that envy, oh, it's real strong. It's hella strong. And sometimes people can't see it. Another sad day. So now another funeral, pack the kid or where the kid's going to go, we, we don't know. But I thought about it, you know, the father, the ex-husband, that's not his kid. He's not legally obligated to, you know, take that child in. So what's going to happen? Now her world's going to be just turned upside down. Horrible. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Ladies, be alert. Be aware. There's too many dust buckets out there. And I'm out.